Yesterday, CIG released the updated version of their Star Engine trailer, first shown at CitizenCon 2953. I've uploaded a side-by-side -side comparison with no commentary if you want to watch the whole thing without me talking over it. In this video, I'm going to recap some of the changes to look out for. I'm Jail, and if you enjoy videos about lore, languages and little details, you should subscribe to my channel. There are changes to almost every frame of the video, so it's not just a small edit here and there, but a lot of the changes are quite subtle. The biggest general change is to shadows and colour tone, which have been improved throughout the video. This gives a much more textured appearance, particularly to terrain shots. More obviously, a speed and distance tracker has been added in the corner to every frame. NPCs have also been reworked throughout, there's a lot more incidental ships flying about where they were number 4, and scenes with crowds have had the NPCs repassed entirely. Another small change to Microtech is that for the forest scene, the trees now have a subtle sway that was absent in the original. It's the sequences from Pyro in the second half of the video which have the most extensive reshoots. Everything before Pyro is more or less a shot for shot remake, with only some minor tweaking on some timings. One area where you can see changes to timings is in the new Quantum Drive graphics which have a more abrupt rubber band effect right at the end, but basically everything from the journey to the jump point onwards is not just new footage, but differs from the original and can't be directly overlaid. For the pyro stations this is mostly just a slight repathing of the camera, alterations to NPCs, and a bit more of an atmospheric fly on the wall style for the tattoo sequence. Moving down to the surface of Bloom though, Pyro 3, we have an extensively reworked Reclaimer Fire sequence, with NPCs now behaving a bit more sensibly, and altered smoke effects. On the planet's surface, the aforementioned tweaks to shadows and shading make Pyro 3 look much more attractive, and also the mist and haze has been dialed back which really helps the colour. We finally get into really significant changes when we reach the tech demos right at the end of the video. One of the features they picked up on with a label is water effects on decals, meaning they can put down a puddle texture and have it simulate water effects. But the original video didn't really show that feature in its best light. Now the Gladius has a really clear puddle underneath it when it takes off, which ripples and reacts, and that's the point of that feature. A lot of the lake water effects haven't changed as much, but we do see two very important additions. Firstly, upon approaching the air, the texture of the lake is visible from afar when before it was flat and only gained texture when closer up. Secondly, when pulling this banked turn, a now large frothy wave is formed, which is a really strong addition to the overall effect that they had already of the water deflecting under the ships. For the Maelstrom demo, lighting has been added to accentuate the target objects against the background, bringing it more in line with the Maelstrom tech presentation at CitizenCon. The Gladius crash also uses a much more advanced demo of the tech. Also note that a sneaky little pico has been removed from this shot. Final shot on the NPC has been altered to more extensively showcase Starcloth, and we also find the one obvious removal of the video. Where before we had dynamic blood, sweat and tears, the blood has been removed, likely because the effect doesn't look as polished as the others at this stage. Finally, I'll go over some of the more subtle or unusual changes. Skyboxes have been moved and altered throughout, which I find a little surprising to see as a global change. In the lead-up to the Kazi Grazer, a large rock that is in shot has been removed to give a view of the valley, which greatly alters the composition of the shot, but doesn't really fix any problem, so I'm not sure why that was done. And finally, in the sequence on Crusader, we have this lovely Stormwell shot, but the new speed camera would suggest that they're flying at supersonic speeds, which is kind of funny. These are some of the biggest changes that I picked up on. What did you spot that I'm missing? Let me know in the comments. Subscribe for more videos like this. I've been Jail, and I'll see you around the verse.